Hi there, Signs of Cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading, guys. Hope you're doing really well today. This is for your weekend. <clears throat> Opening up to Cancer's spirit team, their spirit guides, their angels. Well, let's get some messages and start to get this Palo Santo. Look, there's a heart that is naturally on this stick from the wood. So cool, so cool, so cool. Small blessings, many miracles. All right. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's open up to these energies here and see what's going on. <laughs> right away, picking up on like the dissolving of things that you once knew and coming together with alchemical wedding, a growth of inner growth um huge like big growth big change big dissolving of what you thought was important all right for cancer i have sugar 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 the hummingbird knows a whole lot about sugar right uh goes living its day it is its life sustenance the sugar the sweet things in life you are attracting the sweet things in life you are the sweet things in life you are the sugar <laughs> so you're looking very sparkly very attractive to people right now uh, and i would say that you are attracting what you want <laughs> exactly what you want at this time um it looks like a star nebula too doesn't beautiful i love that card that card comes out and it just makes me smile it kind of reminds me of the star card energy because of how you must be appearing right now like glowing shining mm. okay what is this something to do with a new experience it's on its way because here i see it in reverse so there's something on its way that is sure to blossom, grow like this summer tree, um, completely in its full bloom and ready. This can represent the health of, while well, your heart space, the health of your finances, the health of maybe um, some kind of uh, romance too. Something that, that just starts really, really growing nicely for you. Okay. Ooh, the silver. There might be a little dust on the bottle, but don't let it fool you about what's inside. That really sums up this card for me because this card is about having the good things and it is about the luxuries here. Now, the silver that is, um, well, as you know, silver tends to get gunk on it that when polished off it, it ends up being very shiny very pretty right and so there's something that we're just like polishing off whether that be a talent or a skill or <clears throat> just those parts of ourselves that we have decided to integrate and to integrate more when we integrate we're uh, becoming aware and shedding light on the shadow area and so it's going to be shinier i don't know like a shiny you <laughs> a shiny new you Yeah, because of some kind of hurting and healing that you went through, Chiron, maybe you're still going through. Wow. So this is just blossoming. What is, um, what's being presented here is a promise that after all this hurting and healing that you have been through, there's already something that is budding and the promise is that it's going to bloom. Hmm. on the bottom just curious the benevolent guide you are being guided you can think of it as your internal compass it could be your guardian angel it's the bee that goes around and gathers the sweetness from everything hard work dedication um 
devotion, dedication. So you're being guided through this healing, through this hurt, to now dust off the dust off the bottle, <laughs> shine yourself up because you really do shine with this sugar card. Wow. For cancer. Dance is on one foot. Something may feel like a very Libra-like energy of a of a a balance at this time, a balancing act. Nice. Then I have the horseman, herald of change. The arms are out to the side too. There's something about oh, really uh, being able to feel free and open up your energy to these energies that are coming down, trying to usher in some, some type of change for you. Okay, yeah, 64, that was 30, this is 9. Woodwives adaptability is about being flexible like the tree because there is something good that's coming. It is going to, um, like life does, require us to be grounded. and um, But know that we, like the tree, are able to sway and stay grounded at the same time. And there's a lot of light coming in in this card. This does represent something real, like a changing of the season. It's um, like you're being guided, divinely guided, to go a different way. Or here, do this, but bend like this so that, I don't know, just so that something else is going to line up perfectly for you. So it is a balancing act at this time. There's a good change coming in. And it will require you to be adaptable. Oh, we definitely have beautiful energy, heart, home, compassion, your heart being really wide open. 27. That's my expression number, just to let you know. Because so it might be about the way that um, in this message about how you express your love, your compassion for others. It's being felt for sure with heart, home. It's being felt for sure. Okay, let's get some tarot. Figure it out. This feels like a little bit of a light reading compared to my last reading I did. But I don't know, we haven't broke into the tarot card yet, so let's let's keep our fingers crossed for that. The balancing act also is about kind of like living in the now moment trying to be as present as you can in the now moment as you juggle a few things possibly okay oh the horse twice horse twice yeah hmm so i'm seeing this as like you going in a different direction being guided by the stars in the night sky. <laughs> it's taken a while. This card like this could say that something was delayed for a little while. Um, but you're still going steady, going strong. This is the change. It, feel, it feels like a change of, so you're safe, change of direction. That's what it feels like because of these two lining up so perfectly. And then the hermit. Mm. Okay, and the cosmic egg right here. So that egg represents what you're here to infinitely create. Sorry. About what you're here to infinitely create, right? And uh, the power in it. I also have the staff with the, um, with the snake going up it also. Could be something to do with medicine or taking time out, doing your own research uh, regarding your health, regarding medicine or what you can do for yourself. 
Uh, this hermit has definitely, re they've realized they're on this journey. Um, no matter how many people are around you, uh, that is very individual, unique to yourself and yourself alone. And to find that inner light, which is what this card is suggesting you have done. Oh, nice. So, so yeah, so, so this hermit, this time of reflection, of study, of decide oh look i just didn't even see that time of reflection is on the bottom let's see it's those little things anyway the time of reflection the um finding your star finding your light and then letting it lead you five of pentacle kind of wanting to come out but it's not going to <laughs> have a temporary situation that you will be okay you will rise above from whether that's a worry for health or finances the star card here underneath that too something's going to be okay with your finances with your health something's going to be okay i saw this one come out so this this could be that feeling of like there's a lot of um, things going on in the world, even natural disasters that the and and then opponents. You know, there's like all this stuff going on, <clears throat> and then you're being asked at that time more than ever to stay focused. <laughs> so, so quite a game, huh? Quite a game. This is this is tough. This is tough. yeah this is tough these are <clears throat> other energies competing this could just be a whole lot going on and it being especially with your compassion being so high it can be that you're definitely feeling the energies going on with mother earth on the earth yeah and um it's a scattered, it's a scattered feeling. So now more than ever would be when you need to focus the most, right? Yay, I have your energy, nice and strong. Two of Cups, nice and strong. Two of Cups is like a, a real love situation, a real harmonious partnership. It's my true love card. It can represent healthy, good, harmonious partnerships in business as well as romance. It is definitely about your choices and decisions too, though. It's definitely about your choices and decisions. And there may be some competition either for you or it, it might have something to do with this a partnership. I'm not really sure. Let's get let's get another card. What's the um, five of wands about here? Why is it out here? Hmm. But because people okay, so it may be the competition in the market in the with finances, or just like straight in. I was gonna say okay, structure changes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's a need to invest in yourself at this time. Both of them have somebody kind of like. You know, having this ball of that represents the pentacle hovering over. So it just depends on what you're wanting to invest it in. This is reminding me of investing in business, in commerce, in marketing. Investing in something that is an investment so that it makes it just turn out even better, you know. Um, something like that. Whoa. <laughs> I think this is what the hermit energy did. <laughs> yeah, a tower moment. A tower moment. It it caused oh, the all-seeing eye, the all-seeing eye here. This is you. This is you, and this is the transformation that, that you... I don't know where the lightning bolt came from, but it's the information that you needed from yourself about yourself to deconstruct 
what you had to deconstruct, letting something be dismantled. And of course, what happens on the inside is happening on the outside. So if you get up a lot of mass awakenings and major um, tearing down and, and rebuilding, that's exactly what's happening in the world too. So ranks will change. Some people lose their crowns, other people gain them. There's something about more light, more light. Okay, what about um, the change that's coming? What about the change that's coming? Hmm. So this is a three of cups, but they're by themselves. It used to be like this, but it's like this. There was a reason to detach from a group of people and um, maybe you just felt like they're not your friends or they don't resonate with you that much anymore. Perhaps there was gossip or there was always this unhealthy competition within the group. Whatever it is, the influence on you right now or your cups being filled with water instead of wine. And that might also be a separate message. Uh, hmm. That's the change. Oh, the little dolphin. Some of you all really have a, a soulmate energy um, coming in like that, that dolphin. A time to uh, play, actually. To play. I to have the Leo strength. So the time when you're needing to focus and find strength in the now moment, you will. All right, so that's what the change is about. Purification, purifying yourself, your body, detoxing. Hmm. Okay. So this person is looking at their flowers. All right. This is Six of Cups. It would be like if this card was in the reverse. Okay. So there's somebody here. Um, they seem like younger than this person. So this person might be alone. A little bit older looking at all the things that they've grown possibly wanting to have some type of connection that's actually with another person instead of just their achievements I don't know I see usually this card would would be like a calling in a soulmate hands on the hips I wonder who planted the flowers is what I'm thinking I wonder who planted those flowers hmm. coming out of denial no longer Wishing for things that are unfulfilling, unrequited love, having everything you can have, but then the Midas touch, you know, it ended up turning people into gold, right? That they loved, that cared about. So, yeah, there's something to be careful about um, because of this power. There's a lot of power here. All right. The sun. The sun. Let's go ahead. Let's pull from this deck. It's a snazzy deck, and I really don't think that we need any uh, clarifying on these. Not really. Lonely or alone, but understanding that something is part of like a purification. Kerosene, aggressive, accelerate, ignite, determined, fuel, encourage, sustain. Oh, goodness. Powerful. Stimulate. Volatile situation. 
Sorry about that. Provoke, watch out, unpredictable, combustible, propel, and hot. Which definitely is this, and it could be this tower moment, too. Um, that, okay, this is coming out with this. This is good. So, there is there is wealth or something coming in. Imagine you're in a forest, and every single tree could potentially um, have produce a lot of passive income for you through the sap right so you're having to figure out what tree you want to invest your time to put a spigot in but you know that it's going to come out and i think you're um well just be just know that virgo has you will have you over analyzing <laughs> so there's lots of trees like i say um when there's a need for these resources, just go ahead and put it in something. <laughs> put it in something. So resources needed, but this is the flow, the wealth, it says. Spring, blood, sweetness. The sweetness. This could be your, your money flow, too. Something getting back healthy. Healthy again. New investment. Where to put this at? Okay, you possibly need to be looking into having a little bit more fun with what you do when you do your everyday things and remind yourself of childhood. Innocence, playful, growing, friendship, lightness of being. Mm, I love that. Loving life, no worries, inexperienced growth and new beginnings. Spilt milk. Well, don't cry over that, right? Regret? Accidents happen. Don't sweat the small stuff. Mistakes. Leave it in the past. It's over. Cannot be cleaned up. Disappointed. Let it go. Minor problems, it says. Minor problems. And this definitely goes along with the Hermit card as far as for cabin. I was picking up the energy here, though, feeling a little bit alone or lonely. Confined. Detached. Remote secluded go within insulate disengage closed off kept apart quarantine island segregate separated divide disconnected and sequestered six and this is a Scorpio of course it would be Scorpio so sexual fulfillment intimacy sensual pleasure love affair sleep contentment leisure nap sleep on it alone time oasis retiring dream time astral travel and call it a day as well as seven Sagittarius Sagittarius the white rabbit Spark of curiosity, gnosis, spiritual awakening, it's time, heeding the call, research it, inner knowing, dark to light, going down the rabbit hole, and waking from the dream. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's see what the Kipper deck has to say. A message. Telepathic. <laughs> Thoughts. Or watch your thoughts. Keep thoughts positive. Six, 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 right here. Five, six, six, seven, seven. And three. lovers possibly in the reverse if there was some sort of like breakup a message not feeling alone not wanting to feel alone have a gift the 
bad health card. Could be in any area of your life, and it could have to it could have to do with somebody else since I, it is laying on the two of cups or an unhealthy situation. This was in the reverse. This is like a temporary setback. This poverty card is you're coming out of a, of a difficult situation or problems with finances or health or something like that. Um, there is some type of gift from the universe here. 22, the official person in family room. An expectation. Hmm. Not seeing that as a bad thing at all. The house, the structure. This is somebody kind of like highly ranked, right? Official, whether that be in the spiritual realm, mainly, it doesn't really, you know, whatever it is, there's people that are experts and at what they do. This is kind of like the emperor energy. Gives me that vibe good reputation no too many <laughs> too many what's the bad health about deep thoughts so about your thoughts about your thinking about how you're thinking the tower in the Lenormand. This person has Cupid on the brain. See Cupid, and it, they're shooting the brain. There's a book here. There's something about something being kept a secret. The tower card, something being built that has, with consistency and dedication to it, not only provides the light for others so that they can maybe avoid some rocks in their life. Um, guidance. It's, it's going to be healthy, strong, stable, and secure. And it's tied to the good outcome card with the two doves, which is like this two of cups of coming together, um, being at a crossroads. I also have the high honors card. So, yes, this official person, high honors. What's the expectation about? So, I would watch the health of your thoughts. Of your thoughts. I don't like it when it does that. <laughs> Watch the health of your thoughts. Keep your thoughts positive. Okay, I have the court and the moon. Another letter. So I have court 23 and the moon 32. Whoa, something's mirroring for you. Pretty big. See this? Both of these cards are like really indicating to me being seen, being seen, being in a crowd. Um, this is more than a spotlight on you. This is bigger. There's something really official about what you do. And there's some high honor that is being bestowed upon you. This is saying you're going to receive some kind of fame or recognition. This, this moon card in Lenormand. The court could be literally because of some kind of official stance or something that you do that is official. So what else do you want to tell us? What other information do you have? An ending that you're healing from. An ending on the Chiron to many could be an ending here of this lack or worry ending of your worries end of a situation end of a hard time end of a struggle an offer um something being proposed that's a good offer it's solid it's good you're gonna love it and 29 the woman is like an extra an extra character in your in your story and then the man 28 these people are slightly different but that's okay 
That's what I get. They're both aces. Hope. 36. There's hope. The anchor. Could be about where you're wanting to throw your anchor. Where are you wanting to travel to? The gold octopus is going to indicate here that you can have your hands on a lot of different things and bring some good money out of it. Um, I see that. I see the financial security in this. This is a wealthy, a wealthy energy, stable once you decide where this is going to go. And I think that might be what you're thinking of is where do I want to lay down roots or where do I want to invest in next? What else do I want to get my hands into? Make sure you're talking good to yourself, especially with the thoughts and the whip coming out. Because this could be about automatically, repetitively telling yourself something and then like catching yourself. Oh no, I'm being negative to myself. I know I'm, you know what I mean? So this is about being kinder to yourself with the words that you use and how you're treating others. Ring, desire, desire for a commitment or desire this might be something that is proposed to some of you all. It can be a, a desire to come together with somebody also, maybe within business too. There is great fortune here though. Great fortune card popping up. So there is great fortune. All right, so I'm going to pull out this big deck. It's a combination of a few different decks. And let's just see what wants to come out with this. And I think I'm going to wrap up the reading, guys. If you would like a private reading, those are $24. I offer them. They're pre-recorded or recorded, you know, and then sent to you, a private link sent to you. That's in the description box below. Like, subscribe if you do like the video. That helps out a ton. Oh. I want to get one more, maybe two more. Okay. So I have being here, which is definitely what the dance is on one foot is. There is nothing I have to do. I simply need to be. Being here on the planet and loving God within is the highest purpose I can have. And mana, uh, 26, mana of Gaia, ask the ancestors from all across the planet for their blessing. Call upon the manna, which is the living life force of Gaia, to flood your entire being. Be still and know you are eternal. I create synchronicity. I have a consciousness that is always benevolently predisposed. I pull towards me the synchronicity that I require. And this is about your well-being and something about the peace and your health also just getting better, feeling renewed. Yeah, feeling good. So well-being is there. And I'll pull an angel number message for you and maybe one from this little, little deck too. Wow. <laughs> 555 five, five, and 444. Four, four. Woo, this is a strong number. 555, five, five, a major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. I am optimistic. 444, four, four. trust your journey, trust the way that your life unfolds, and trust you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. Hmm. Reflect on your achievements at this time also would be good. Okay, and this is the last part. Yeah. Okay. Keep going and going. The wishing well. To make some wish magic, cast this spell. <laughs> Throw pennies into the wishing well. So a wish being granted for you. Sweet, sweet. I love it. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.